One of the more radical proposals in the American Jobs Plan is that it would treat any property transfers at death or by gift as realization events for capital gains tax purposes. Iowa State University's Christine Tigran discussed the concept and how it could work in a presentation at the virtual Mid-South Agricultural and Environmental Law Conference. The really radical provision within this proposal, and the one that, that really that, that they believe has to be in here in order to make the, t- the increase in tax rates actually something that generates revenue, is that it would treat any property transfers at death or by gift as realization events. Now, what does that mean? Well, <laughs> it means that beginning in 2022, if you die and you leave property to your heir, and that property that you owned had appreciated in value, you would be taxed on that transfer as though you had sold the asset, meaning that there would be a capital gain tax trigger on your death for the amount of appreciation of that asset that had occurred during your lifetime. The same tax would apply if I just wanted to give it away during my lifetime with a few exceptions. And I'll tell you about how the differences occur. There would be a a more generous benefit if you, if you pass it along at death as opposed to gift, but nonetheless, um, these transfers would be subject to these new higher tax rates so that the highest tax rate for much of this gain, if you're dealing with a highly appreciated asset, which in the farming world, we often are so that that gain would be taxed at 43.4%. So What the proposal says is, okay, we'll be generous and we will give everybody a $1 million exclusion, a $1 million exemption from this proposal of recognizing gain at death or or at the time of gift. And this $1 million exemption would be one for each part of the married couple. So if you had a husband and a wife, they would each get their own $1 million exemption, and that would be shared between them. So it would be portable. And so essentially a husband and wife could exclude $2 million of gain. You would also be able to exclude gain on your principal residence up to $500,000. Then what would happen, a lot of the headlines that we see out there talk about oh, the, the, the president's plan would eliminate the step up in basis. Well, not technically. Technically, it doesn't eliminate the step up in basis. It just eliminates the tax-free step up in basis, right? So under current law, if you die, it's, it's really the best tax benefit going. Um, you just have to die to get it. Um, but if you die, your the value of your asset, the fair market value, the basis of your asset is stepped up to the fair market value at your death. So the idea is all of that appreciation that occurred during your lifetime is is never taxed. And so that's what the administration is looking at. They're looking at that and they're saying, okay, we can raise the tax rates on capital gain all we want. We can, we can make them 80%, but we're never, we're never going to raise any revenue if we don't also include some sort of provision that makes this gain taxable. Because if we have exorbitant tax rates, what people will do is just hold the property until they die and wait for that gain to to go away. Or even if there were just a carryover basis, they would just transfer the property to their heirs and and the heirs wouldn't sell it and the heirs would transfer it on. And and again, nobody would ever be taxed on that gain. So that's the driving force behind this new recognition rule would be if you don't have a recognition rule, you don't have any way to actually trigger the tax because people will just hold on to their assets and they won't sell them.